hear this prophecy and I pray that the listeners take heed to what I am saying. When a Christian celebrates Halloween, they are opening gateways and portals to demonic spirits. You allow demons to attack you because now the devil has legal rights to you and everything in your household. We are basically celebrating the dead, forgetting that the Bible tells us in 1 Peter 5, 8 to be sober-minded, to be watchful. For your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a warring lion, seeking someone whom he can devour. Your pastors aren't telling you this while they are encouraging you to dress your children up and to bring them to the church's trunk or treat or harvest fest celebration. When your pastor should be telling you that October 31st, biblically, is a day of fasting and prayer. Pay attention to how your pastors are Satanists. Your pastors only respond to the things of the world. Your pastors are religious. They celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Easter, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and every other man-made holiday. They even so much as open their doors to the LGBTQABCDEFG123's community. You know, then they try to find scripture that fits into their lives instead of transforming their lives by living the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 10.21 tells us that we cannot drink from the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. And most of your pastors are all demons and they are on demons payroll. They covet and they cover lies. They participate in systematic oppression, adultery, trafficking, and they even campaign these lies for their friends who are the corrupt leaders. They speak worldly things. For example, you, you hear a lot of pastors saying um, they're going to have a happy New Year celebration. They're going to have a, what you call that Friday, Good Friday celebration. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Birthday, Jesus. All this foolishness. But they never make mention to the congregation about the Day of Atonement, the, the Festival of Feast. Yom Kippur, none of this is in your pastor's language. That's, that should be a problem. I come today to encourage you to not take part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. Ephesians 5.11 tells us to expose darkness. Just because your grandma and them did it, that does not make it right. That does not make it biblical. The only thing that it makes it is demonical. Y'all fear the devil more than you fear God. Hell, even the devil fears God more than most of you pastors, most of you Christians and believers do. Even demons know to obey God. I, and I'm saying all of this only to say that no matter how you dress it up, no matter how you change the wording, it will never be biblical. No, we, we can call all this stuff, whatever we want to, but it, it's not going to change, no matter how you dress it up. We can see the state that the world is in right now. And, and we are only in this condition because of the wickedness that we've allowed. We allowed this to happen. We're making leaders, we're appointing leaders that are anointed, that are not anointed to hold any position. We're allowing them to make their own laws and to execute their own decisions. That's not biblical. Wickedness and lawlessness is rampant. So don't expose your babies to it. That's all I'm saying. If you love them, you will take heed to everything that I'm saying. Because can't nothing good come out of this. This year, Satan is, Satan is seeking to steal. He's seeking to kill. He's seeking to destroy. He has been targeting our children. And we can see this. Though we've been praying, interceding, and pushing back the gates of darkness, we still have to be vigilant and watchful for Satan and his tricks. Because the devil doesn't change his tricks. 
And right now, he's trying to contaminate the food. He's trying to contaminate the water supply. So, what do you think he's trying to do with the candy that you're going to be feeding to your children? And, and I'm, I'm bringing mention to this because on last week, I read an article where this teenager she got some candy from this old lady on the streets and when the old lady gave her the candy she quote unquote prophesied to the teen telling her some good things but before she closed that prophecy she told her that she was going to die um she, now true enough the girl did die but do you think that she died because this witch prophesied that to her no, she died because the witch knows that she poisoned the candy. <laughs> she poisoned it. So, just like she couldn't look at the candy until it was poisoned, you can't look at a witch and call it a witch. A lot of y'all are being deceived because you have no discernment, right? So, parents, I'm encouraging you, do not allow your children to participate in any Halloween festivities. Especially not on Halloween night. Don't even participate in it if it's at your church. Hell, most of y'all been doing the same. Y'all been going to the same church for years. And still can't discern that your pastors, your prophets, your evangelists, your teachers, your preachers are witches. They're warlocks. They're Jezebels. They're demons. And y'all don't even know it. Just because they change their name, that does not mean that the content of it changes it doesn't halloween is a celebration of the dead matthew 8 22 jesus said follow me jesus did not say follow saving he didn't say follow the dead he didn't say follow your grandma and them tradition he did not say follow religion but he said follow me and let the dead bury the dead jesus is telling us christians us watchmen us preachers us pastors prophets teachers that we are not excused from our duties and responsibilities as his followers. We have to stay on our post at all times. Amen. That don't mean that we can take a break to go celebrate Halloween. Your pastor shouldn't be taking a break to celebrate Halloween and call it trunk or treat. Because Jesus told us not to. When we leave our post, we allow spirits to roam freely upon the earth. When we celebrate foolishness such as halloween we allow these things to happen when we participate we are summoning demons we're practicing witchcraft we're practicing necromancy and, and y'all are helping to empower demons we are empowering the satanists we are empowering people who practice sorcery we are empowering magic um we're, we're empowering even the wizards. Did y'all know that witches fast and they rest up the entire week before Halloween so that they can stay up all night and find ways to torment you? These witches that are fasting and resting, they're practicing spells so that they can use against you on Halloween night. Pay attention because on Halloween, we, we, we notice that more people become sick. People become missing. They end up getting hurt or murdered because they're being sacrificed. Crimes increase. And, and that's because this is Satan's day. Satan is pretty much saying to the parents and to the children, Yeah, I can't have y'all children 364 days of the week. But I, I guarantee you, I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one night where your children are going to worship me, where your children are going to praise me, and that's going to be on Halloween. Because you parents are dumb enough to fall for my schemes and my plots. You have no discernment. But this is your warning. Do not open that doorway to Satan. Do not allow him to torment your lives or your children's lives. Because he, if you open that door... If you open that portal, he's coming to steal, to kill, and destroy. And that's in Jesus' name. Amen.